Okay, here's a little post-ride action on the Hyper Scrambler. Just rode around uh, fairly far actually. And then I picked the girlfriend up from work. The battery seemed to be holding up really well. Uh, in fact, surprisingly well compared to say my my uh, Rose Avs Super 73. So even there, now you can see I'm still at 50.5 volts and I'm down, I think it's one or two bars on the battery. Still in race mode, because we like to go fast. Put it in zero. So, uh, I did notice a little bit of cutting out of the, of the uh, motor here and there, but it wasn't as bad as last time. So I don't know what to think about that. Um, the bike is super fun. I'm getting used to it now, and uh, it's just excellent to, to ride on. It doubles well, too. How much do you weigh? 110 pound girl plus me at 210 and uh, it was pulling us pretty well we were doing like 30 35 kilometers an hour on the way home with little effort on my part so I'm pretty impressed I hope they can sort out this power drop issue though it wasn't happening as badly as it was yesterday I wore the uh, full face fox helmet very aggressive style helmet, but I think it's necessary on a bike like this. I also have these gloves that have like uh, hard uh, knuckles and everything in case I bail. Hopefully I never do, but uh, does this tell me the max speed I ever went? I'm not sure. Be cool if it did. Hold on a sec. There we go. Uh, no, it doesn't really tell me the max speed I went. I gotta find a good app. If anyone knows a good app I can use on my phone um, that'll tell me the max speed I travel. Distance would be good too. Anyway, I like this uh, display setting. I don't need all that extra stuff and I like to see the big numbers. So uh, also the, uh, I put a battery pack, just an anchor battery so I can charge my phone while I'm riding. The phone sits there and plugs in. And battery pack there, taped on. I think it'll work. Seems to be. What else can I tell you? I've got the Fender kit coming eventually next month, I think they said. And I've got the fast charger. The uh, the charging unit for this bike is actually pretty small compared to the charging unit from the Super 73. There's a fair size difference there. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but... And the connection's nice metal. I like that. So anyway, yeah, I've got that Grim Technologies fast charger coming. And, uh... I wish this backlight would remember the last setting I had it in when I turn it off. So you can see now I've got it in blink mode. If I turn the bike off, and then to turn the bike back on. See, it doesn't remember the last mode I was in. I wish it had a memory so it would remember that mode because I think that mode gives you the best visibility to, to attract attention. 
from oncoming traffic. The gears, I hardly use them. I've been in that gear all day. I don't think I've changed it at all because you just don't need them. <laughs> Seriously, you get this thing up to speed and you wanna be in that lowest gear. The lights are working out good. So far, so good on the bike. I kinda think that having the full-faced helmet is a, is a good thing because, uh, man, this thing goes fast. It is zippy. Hold on tight. Sometimes I even lean forward, like when you're hard on the throttle, off the start, you can lift that front tire right off the ground. It is crazy powerful. Way more power than the Super 73 Rose Ave, I can tell you that. Once I get the Rose Ave back from the shop, right now it's getting hydraulic brakes put on it. And uh, this one came with hydraulic brakes, which gives me great stopping power. The Rose Ave had mechanical disc brakes and I was adjusting them constantly and I didn't have amazing stopping power so now I'm gonna have better brakes on the Super 73 and uh, anyway enjoy the rest of your Sunday I'm going to and uh, thanks for watching there's the hyper scrambler by juice bikes so far I'm pretty impressed peace out